I'll be direct, I think the Springs could be doing much, much better. And, and, and I'm not sure, you know, I've got all the answers. We, I did convince uh, El, Pomar, El Pomar Foundation, the uh, Telluride Foundation, and the Gates Family Foundation up in Denver to all chip in, and they're going to fund a study of the last, I think they're looking at 30 or 40 years, but my idea was, why is it that, that some town like Durango is doing so well, and, Colorado, uh, and Grand Junction isn't? Why is Fort Collins done, had such an incredibly explosive two decades, and the Springs hasn't had the same, that same uh, expansion? And I, you know, uh, they're just going to look at the, the investment of, you know, do, which, which, did they invest in schools, did they invest in parks, did they invest in health care, did they invest in business, did they, you know, what, what, what was the public sector doing over the last 30 years, and is there a connection between, you know, their economic success, because I think there might be. One of my staff is kind of working with the, uh, the foundations, you know, my goal is, that, you know, this isn't a PhD study, we don't need five years on this. I would hope it would be done in a year, year and a half, uh, and then I'm just going to publicize it. You know, it's not, I don't think it should be the basis of funding or anything like that. I think it should be a, a tool that the state can provide to help, you know, every community in Colorado kind of look at, at how they invest and, and what their investments are, make their own decisions. Right? The state shouldn't have any role in that. Our, our role is to try and take information and, and kind of statewide resources and get the maximum benefit from them. And some of those resources are our foundations.